Hey, how's it going? And I'm excited to bring you this tutorial today. And this, I went down a huge rabbit hole on this thing and I just thought I'd share it with you because I think it's really interesting and I think it's really cool. Plus, I was going to need to learn the functionality of how to actually hit a ball in Unreal Engine. It sounds like something that would be easy to do, but there's surprisingly not many tutorials around about it. But once I started doing that, I thought it'd be cool. Wouldn't it be cool to track the ball and where it went? This absolutely blew my mind. So <laughs> this is going to take, this tutorial is going to take about 20, 25 minutes because I have a lot to go over, but hopefully you'll get a lot out of it. So all this is, is what I call a whacker here and a sphere. And it's going to rotate and hit the hit this sphere or ball. But when it hits it, it really is going to hit it and it's going to send it flying. And so, and I mean, when I say flying, I mean flying. And when I thought to have the idea to track it, I thought, well, how far could it hit it? And it was like, literally what's going to happen is this whacker is going to hit that ball off of this simulation plane, which is, I, I don't know, it's a, maybe a mile, but watch this, this will, this will blow your mind and we're going to track it. So what's going to happen is I'm going to hit play <laughs> and hopefully we'll be able to see it. Hopefully you'll be able to see the ball take off. I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit play. There'll be a button here and that I believe is going to be the long longitude and so what happened is I tested it and I was like how come it's not it's not stopping like and it's because I realized it fell off it fell off the earth it fell off this plane so that's why it doesn't stop so let's let's give it a whirl and see what we see so and it hits it right away so keep an eye in the sky you're gonna see this ball go flying so I'll hit play See the ball take off? Do you, you see it? It was kind of low altitude there. So if I hit this, if I hit Shift F1, you'll see it's going to eventually roll off of the world. So now let me hit stop here. And let's do that again. I didn't, I don't know if I got a good hit on that. Every time I do it, it hits it a little bit differently. So let's hit play. There it goes. Did you see it? Let me do it one more time. It took, it happened really fast. Let me hit play. See it? Did you see the ball go? <laughs> now if I hit play, look, that's its world location. And it won't stop because it's, it's actually going through space or whatever. <laughs> It's a trip. So let me hit escape. It won't stop. So and it's on an it's driving off of an event tick too. So I'm gonna hit escape there. So I'm gonna show you how to create this kind of thing, and hopefully I'll come back with some other tutorials explaining why I'm actually doing this. Okay, I'm back. So to get started with this, we're just gonna go to file. Oops, file. File new project, and we're gonna go into simulation blank simulation. I'll just leave it called my project 13 and I'll, I guess I'll say what I just did. And this just takes a minute to load up. I realized that it might not have hit it off the plane, but it just might still be rolling. So it, it's almost like it just keeps rolling for some reason. So it might not be that it went off the plane, the sphere went off the plane, but that it's still rolling. So we'll, we'll see. I'm still, like I said, this is kind of exploratory. So here we are in the blank simulation plane. And the first thing we're going to do is just work on getting a whacker or a stick to hit a ball or a sphere. So to do that, we're just going to go in the content level here. I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to blueprint, blueprint class, and it's going to be an actor. And I'm going to call this BP underscore whacker just like that. And then I'm going to double click into it and I'm going to dock this up top. And I guess I can save it. And then what I'm going to do, and these are just some things I picked up in the course of preparing for this tutorial, is that we're going to go add and we're going to get a cube. And it's going to come in, in this green color. And we're just going to go on the Z here and scale this thing up a little bit. Should scale up. 
yeah, okay. Not too much, but I, mean, I don't know. Maybe I don't want it too tall. So let's let's just make it a five. Let's just call it a five. So there we go there. And that's all we have to do. Now on this particular asset, one of the things we have to do is we're going to drag the cube into the default scene root so that it'll take the default scene roots pivot point. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go add rotating component here. And then what's great about this is that it rotates it automatically. There's nothing else we have to do. We just have to set the the speed of this. So I don't know what I said it last time. Maybe maybe it was 500. I don't know. 500. And we're going to rotate it on the X there. So we're going to go compile and save. And then on the cube itself, and this is the the, the big thing here, we're going to search for collision. And it's by default set to block all dynamic, and we're going to leave it set at that. So in a sense, I believe it's almost, I could be wrong, but it could be almost like a rigid body then. So it's just blocking everything. So we've got that. And then what we can do is just drag this into our scene here and kind of position it up like that. And then if we hit play, we should see it rotating. Oh, so what's happening now is this is pretty crazy is by default for some reason it's spinning in two axes at once so if I go back into this you'll see that for some reason I don't know how this happened but it had a default of 180 and we're just going to clear that out so let's compile and save that and now it'll be spinning correctly in just one direction like that okay so we can get on the other side of it so that's going to be our what I call the whacker or the stick okay so now all we want to do is we just want to have a sphere or a ball for it to hit so so to do that we're gonna right click and go to blueprint class an actor again and we're just gonna call this BP underscore ball and then we're gonna double click into it and then we're gonna go add a sphere it's gonna be green we're gonna compile and save it now here is the main settings for this thing we have to just on the sphere we just have to go search for simulate physics and compile and save that and I believe that once we've done that it has set its collision automatically to physics actor so let's see if that's what it did yeah, so it then when you hit simulate physics, it sets the to a physics actor. So this thing is going to fly. And just adding, I believe gravity is enabled. I'm just doing a double check. So it is. it does have gravity because it seems to just take off. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to drag this sphere right there. You know, I don't really like that. I don't know if I, let's go, well, this color, but I'll just I'll just roll with it for now. We'll go into the top view here for a second. I just want to make sure that it's easy to not have your alignment kind of off here. So let me see. We want to be on the ball and just make sure we're in alignment with that sphere. Okay, and then I'll go back into perspective here. Okay, and that is it. So what will happen now I'm going to back up and let's hit play. So we'll hit play and see what happens. See there, it just went kind of rolling. Can I follow after it? Let's follow after it for a little bit. See how it just seems to keep going? Even though we have gravity enabled, it like it just sent it on a speeding up here to try to catch up with it. So it just it's look it just keeps going trippy, huh? So I guess it's unrealistic in that sense that 
it just keeps going. And I think there's something we can do with the weight there. That's why it just never stops, I guess. I guess it doesn't necessarily fly off the world, but it just keeps going. So anyway, that's all I'm going to do for it right now because I'm going to go into another tutorial and I don't want to bore everybody with that, but I'm going to show you how to track its location beyond that. So stay tuned for that if you're interested in that. And I just wanted to do a little postscript on this. So one thing I just did was I changed the position of the sphere a little bit. I brought it up a little bit and put it right in that position. Now watch what happens when we send it this time. I do believe upon looking at this a little bit more that there's linear and angular damping that we can apply to bring it back down. But right now it's like a super ball, <laughs> literally like it's a trip. So here we, oops, I went under the ground plane there. So let's take a look at what happens just by adjusting the, the sphere up a little bit. This thing, let's see what it does. It didn't even hit it that time. It like missed it. Let's try it again. What the heck? Let's try it again. Huh. It's funny because I just did this and it really went flying. So let's bring it up and push it a little bit more. Okay. There it goes. See that? <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to play around with the settings. I'll show you where those are. I don't know how much damping we'd have to do on it, but if we search here on the sphere, I guess it's under all. We can look for linear damping, and this should bring that down. It's only at 0 0.01 right now. So I imagine if we give it a stronger setting. So let's let's bump it up a little bit. What happens if we put it at a one? Just a straight one. We'll hit one again. See, that really toned it down a little bit there. See that? That's not quite as dramatic. So let's go back and adjust that setting one more time on the sphere. What happens if we put it at, let's see, a three? Play. Oh, it didn't even hardly go. So that's the solution to that. So the damping will control how far this goes. So at 0 0.01, it basically goes into a low Earth orbit. And at a 3, it doesn't even take off. So, so anyway, I'll do a second tutorial on how I do the menu system if you're interested in seeing that. But other than that, just to hit a ball, that's going to be it. So anyway, take care, have a great day, and I hope you found this helpful.